G'day everyone, welcome back to True Footy. Today we are gonna be continuing this little series that I started yesterday uh, where I steal one player from every team and construct a best 18, every position filled on the field. Obviously the rules are one player from each club. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different to yesterday's. I did mention I was gonna do this in yesterday's video, but today's video is an under 22 version. So I can only steal players that are born in 2001 or later, which makes this really, really difficult. Look, I know that this is probably more of an off season idea uh, but this one kind of got the creative juices flowing so I wanted to do it uh, while the idea was still hot for me and of course it is grand final week now and we of course got the Brownlow medal uh, today tonight I'm sorry the time zones are messing me up but I think as you're watching this the Brownlow will be later this evening as well so of course I will be watching that and we'll be doing a video after the fact if you want to see some Brownlow content I've made two uh, previewing Brownlow videos so to speak already last week I've done the uh, my top 10 prediction and I've predicted every club's best vote getter and you can go find that back on the channel I been uploading a couple of videos a day lately so might be a little while back but go and have a look if you are interested in seeing some brown low content and of course after today is going to be back onto the grand final and uh, we'll probably be doing some draft and trade focus videos too so long story short i will be getting back to more relevant videos uh, very very shortly but in the meantime i want to do another fun video like this i've got some ideas of other ways to do it somebody in the comments suggested a really good one uh picking a player from each club outside their team's best 22 and there's probably a multitude of ideas you can come up with this video but for now, we are going to focus on under 22 talents and try and construct the best team right now. So not so much, you know, future talent. You know, to, to give you an Eagles example, I think Elijah Hewitt is uh, the best young prospect West Coast have. But is he the best player right now in the way that he's evolved in terms of helping a team win right now? He's probably not going to be my first choice, just to give a little hint away. So um, we'll get straight into the 22 teams. There are 18 teams. What is wrong with me? I've only had a little bit of this coffee and I need to drink more of it. All right, here we are back in my world famous Excel spreadsheet, really putting the effort for the graphics for you guys. Uh, but like I said in yesterday's video, want to uh, have you guys be part of the decision-making process and see it unfold, because that is arguably the most fun part rather than doing it beforehand and coming up with graphics, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna crack into it. Uh, 18 teams, this one is really, really difficult to know where to start. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is obviously Nick Dacos. He was one of the first picked in yesterday's video and uh, certainly qualifies as under 22. And I think if he makes my well, yesterday Today's video, he's gonna make this team as well. So I'm gonna chuck Nick Dacos in here and start him on my halfback flank. So if you missed yesterday's video, I input the player on the left there and then I put them into my team here. Let's see, I wonder if I can get a little grid going here. That might make it a little more saucy. Is that better or worse? I think it's better. Cool, all right. So this one is a tricky one. I am probably going to look at some of the other like key positions that you wanna fill, right? So coming up with under 22 rucks is notoriously difficult because uh, obviously so few of them have actually really made an impact on the league at this point. And uh, I'm going to start with Fremantle here and pick Luke Jackson, who is, you know, the best under 22 ruck in the competition, at least in terms of how evolved he is as a player right now. And if a team was playing tomorrow, he would be the ruck that I would select. And that's really difficult for me because Jai Amos therefore cannot be selected for this team. But my logic was Jai Amos, as good as he is, is probably more replaceable in terms of young key forwards around the comp than Luke Jackson is. I don't even know who the next best under 22 ruck is off the top of my head. So we're going to input Luke Jackson into this team and geez Fremantle have a lot of under 22 players that could have qualified for this um, as much as it pains me to say you know Sarong still eligible Hayden Young Jai Amos it's tough but uh, for positional need I'm going Luke Jackson so again that's part of the video as well I'm trying to balance the team here not just pick the best player from each club uh, Geelong they've got Sam De Koning as a key defender so key defend well key positional players um, I wrote plural for Sam De Conning's uh, the key positional players will be more difficult for the purposes of this video because naturally as, as they're under 22 We have no real idea how they're gonna turn out, but some of them are um, You know standing out already like uh, Jackson and De Koning. cool So some other uh, maybe the best way to do it to start off is just think of some outstanding under 22 players around the comp and uh, consider their their value. So North Melbourne, Harry Sheasel, he won their best and fairest. He won the rising star. I'm going to put him into this team and I'm going to chuck him in a back pocket uh, as a sort of loose defender in the way that he you know, played so well this year. Of course, I think he will probably be evolve to being a, uh, a forward, uh, to be honest, a bit like Stevie J or Lacroix. That's who he's sort of compared to. I think he's a fantastic forward and therefore in the future, I see him being a forward. But for the purposes of today's video, I'm going to chuck him as my back pocket. And that's uh, that's a really strong backline already. Port Adelaide of 
obviously uh, have some talents, but how many of them are under 22? Not Butters or Rosie, that's for sure. Uh, they've got Jason Horn Francis, who was uh, obviously pick one back in 2021, I think it was. And uh, I think he's showing signs of becoming a very, very good footballer already. I'm gonna chuck him on a half forward flank. And again, we can move these players around. Like it's not locked in. Uh, what the hell did I just write? It's not locked in with where I put them. I can move them around um, and I can change players if I want. We'll see what happens. Sydney's a tough one. Sydney is a tough one because there's two clear candidates for this and that's Chad Warner or Errol Goulden. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with Goulden purely because he had a better year and at the moment uh, he's been slightly better, but I might change that to Chad Warner, it depends. So I'm gonna put Errol Goulden on my wing because uh, he is a good wingman and maybe that's what forces uh, Warner out is that I probably need to stick Warner on ball and therefore I think he's a bit more replaceable in finding other good young midfielders around the competition. So St Kilda, I would have to put in Machido Owens as a bit of a third tall who can probably play a bit of midfield too. He's had an outstanding year, one of my absolute like favourites of the batch of rising star contenders this year. Mitch Owens was great. It helped that I had him in game day squad uh, and he you know did really well for me early before, kind of faltering a little bit in terms of how much he was scoring. So I'm going to chuck Machido Owens probably on a half forward flank. Okay guys, before we continue with the rest of the video, I do have an important message to share with you. As you'd know, this year, True Footy has started working with the fantasy platform called Game Day Squad. And on behalf of Game Day Squad, I have something pretty awesome to share with you. And that is, if you haven't already, that they have just launched for AFLW. That means you can start fresh with a new squad and team and again, win weekly prizes. This is your chance to get ahead of the game and make a team for the start of the brand new season. So make sure you follow the link in the description to both creating a team on Game Day Squad and signing up to the True Footy League, which is of course completely free. Let's transform women's fantasy Aussie rules into a sensational reality. Then you got West Coast. Now, uh, I did allude to this already. Uh, as Elijah Hewitt's probably my favorite, but again, in terms of replaceability, uh, I'm not too sure. Also, you know, he's still hitting the straps. He's not really any anywhere close to the final product. However, someone that is already playing really well for an under 22 player is Brady Hoff. And I think he comes into this side as that versatile, taller defender. He's about 190, but he plays on smalls as well. Did a really good job on Charlie Cameron. Played about 30 games. I think he is the one that would crack into this team if I had to choose. So I'm gonna chuck him in the other back pocket and I'm really happy with that. Oh, there's one outstanding player that I completely uh, forgot to mention already and that's Will Ashcroft from the Brisbane Lions, obviously could have been a good shout to win the Rising Star had he not done his ACL. But uh, I think in terms of the output he's getting, he, he slips into the side automatically, just like Sheasel. Um, both of these players come in as first year players and would improve the team. So happy with that. All right, so I need some key forwards. And uh, there's one that comes to mind at the Western Bulldogs. I also considered Waitman as a small forward, but Jamara Hagen I think has a stack of potential that we're starting to see uh, a little bit more and more with the experiences that he gets. And I think that he would stand out and make a real point of difference to this side. So Jamar Hagen absolutely makes my team. So we got, we got Adelaide, we got Carlton. Um, I could use a small forward. Uh, I don't have a genuine small forward here. They, they've probably got a couple each or like one each. Um, Adelaide, there's Michelani, Michelani as a taller, third tall defender. I could choose that. But I think I would go Joshua Shelley, to be honest. I'm gonna chuck him in as a player who can roll through the midfield as well. And uh, I think he is kind of unique a little bit. And with Carlton, I'm gonna add another genuine small forward here in Jesse Motlop, who's probably their pick for under 22. I don't think they've been, they haven't been hitting the draft super hard lately. I'm trying to remember who they even took last year. Ollie Hollands, Ollie Hollands uh, is another contender, but I really like Jesse Motlop. So I'm gonna chuck him in my forward pocket. Cool, so now that I've got a couple of small forwards, that means I can really consider that center half forward position. You've got Melbourne down here with, uh, um, well, they've got a couple of contenders here. Cozzy Pickett was the absolute first player that came to mind, but I probably, um, with, with you know Motlop and Rochelle, uh, I think I'm pretty good in that respect. And therefore, I'm gonna go with Jacob Van Royen, who uh, has had a pretty damn good year, to be honest, as a young key forward uh, prospect. So, Jakob Van Royen, look out for his brother, he might get drafted this year, just played in the Waffle Colts Grand Final um, and did okay. I think there's a chance that uh, we might see another Van Royen in the competition this year. Also heard Melbourne recruiters were at the game, so yeah, make of that what you will. Okay, we got Essendon, Gold Coast, GWS, Hawthorne, and Richmond left, and I have got a, uh, well, I've got three midfield positions. I've deliberately left those to the end, and I've got a key back position. The key back position's hard. I'm trying to think who the best key backs are at these clubs. Unfortunately, Sam Taylor is too old. 
He would have been an absolute walk-up start to this team. Uh, they got Lika Lear at GWS as well. Hawthorne's got Granger Barras. Uh, Essendon's got Zach Reed. Richmond's got Josh Gibkiss. <sighs> Am I really at the point where I'm picking Josh Gibkiss? He probably, out of necessity, I probably could have done better than this, but I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, Josh Gibkiss is a, a perfectly decent prospect and he probably will be a decent player, um, but we are picking a team that's got to try and win a grand final tomorrow. So we got the four clubs left, Essendon, the two expansion sides, and Hawthorne. Hawthorne's got a couple of uh, contenders there. Uh, they've got Newcomb, I presume he's under 22, but Will Day is probably the one I would pick, uh, and I might sl slap him on that half-back flank there. He's a fantastic player, uh, one of my favorite young players, actually, and I've got him in game day squad as well, but uh, really skillful, and I think adds a real point of difference to that team. And of course, as a bigger bodied sort of player, he can also roll through the midfield. So I've got three Three midfield positions left and uh, gee this is tough well Tom Green has got to be an absolute walk-up start he will come in and uh, already one of the better players um, well probably a bit rich to say one of the best players in the competition but I think he had the most disposals per game this year and he's not far off uh, being at that absolute elite level so Tom Green comes in and uh, takes an on-ball spot. So I get a midfielder from Essendon and a midfielder from Gold Coast. Essendon's under-22s are hard. Like, I know that they had, um, well, I always think about it in draft terms. I mean, there was Nick Cox, there was Zach Reed, there was Archie Perkins, Ben Hobbs more recently. There's also Elijah Sardis. I'll start with Gold Coast, because I think that one's more obvious. Noah Anderson does qualify for this, and I would take him over Rao based on 2023 output. And I think he would be a uh, yeah, walk-up start for this team. And that kind of just leaves me with Ben Hobbs, I think, at Essendon. So I don't know if I could have done better there. I mean, you know, I think, have they got a, I could chuck Zach Reed in there instead of Gibkiss, that's probably the wrong move, and then leave a Richmond midfielder under 22. I don't even know. Tyler Sonzi. That's tough. I might chuck Ben Hobbs in here. I do think Ben Hobbs is decent, but we are picking, you know, the, the best of the best here. We're trying to. So Ben Hobbs comes in as my sentiment. So there you go, guys. That is my crack at the team. Again, probably a couple of clear weaknesses there in Gibkiss and Hobbs. But to, to redo it, you probably have to redo everything else. So let me know in the comments what you think you would have done differently. How could have I improved this team? That being said, though, there is an enormous stack of talent in this side as well. So I'm pretty happy with the selections I've made. As always, I welcome your input in the comments, guys. And let me know some more ideas for variations in this video because, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. But thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.